Hey lambs and parents, um, for some reason when I first uploaded this, it didn't upload the right file. It uploaded um, when I was trying to mesh the sound with the actual video. So it looks really awful and I'm so sorry that that got up there. I don't know what happened. Um, I had this whole thing edited, but that's what happens when you're learning with new technology. So please forget that one and watch this one. Uh, again, so sorry about that. Okay, cool, bye. <laughs> hey there lammies, welcome back. Um, this week is so exciting because it's pet week and what I thought would be a lot of fun is if you guys got to meet my pets and see how I take care of them. So I'm going to start with my dog Scraps. Alright, this is Scraps. Scraps is a dappled Dutch hound, which is just a fancy way of saying speckled wiener dog. He has hold on, speckles all over him. He's very cute. He's very cuddly. Um, Scraps is five years old, which... Um, so Scraps I've had for about five years. I got him when I first got my apartment by myself and I wanted to have a pup with me to keep me safe and to have a buddy. And he has been the best buddy ever since then. Um, Scraps is a super good boy. He loves to go for walks, go on car rides. His favorite place in the whole world is Hobby Lobby. He loves to go to Hobby Lobby with mommy. And he loves to play with toys and he loves, loves, loves to eat food. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? He says, I'm a good boy. You a good boy? Yeah? All right, now I'm gonna introduce you to my other dog, Lady. All right, this bigger girl, this is Ladybird. We call her Ladybug and Lady for nicknames. Um, she, I just got this last year in January. Um, she was a rescue dog from the SPCA. She's a Boston Terrier mix, so that means she's got several different kinds of dog breed in her. She's not a purebred like Scraps, but she's still amazing. Um, as far as we know, the last home that she had before she went to the SPCA, she wasn't treated very well. Um, so we've been having to nurse her back to health in certain ways. So she's very skinny, so we've been very careful to help her gain weight, but not too fast as to shock her system. Um, she's very sweet, but gets very nervous around other dogs and other people that she doesn't know. So we've been working with her on not being so skittish or afraid. Um, she's very sweet and she loves, loves, loves to play and run. Um, she loves to chase birds. You like to chase birds, huh? Um, when we take her to the dog park, Scraps will stay by my side no matter what. He does not go very far from mom. Lady, on the other hand, just runs and runs and runs until she gets tired. So that's how those two are very different. Um, but she's very sweet. She's a very good girl. Yeah, and we love her lots. All right, now I'm going to take you along and show you guys how I take care of my dogs. <coughs> So part of taking care of dogs means making sure they get plenty of exercise and making sure they can go outside to go to the bathroom. Since I live in an apartment, it's always a great idea to bring a bag along so you can clean up after them. She's very, very nervous around people, and she's not a mean dog, but she doesn't love having strangers come and pet her. So that's a great example of why you should always, always ask the owner before you pet a dog. They may not like it. This one really loves to eat anything he can find off the ground, so a lot of the times I have to carry him, especially right now, because we want to stay safe from germs. So he gets carried a lot more because he's naughty. Are you naughty? He knows it too, huh? <laughs> We'll walk them. So when I first take them outside, I always let when I first take them outside, I always try to let them use the bathroom and then we'll take a walk around my building. So it's important to always clean up after your dog, especially if you're in a public area. sweater here because she's so skinny right now she gets cold a lot easier scraps on the other hand he just likes high-end fashion <laughs> One of the most important parts of having a dog is feeding your dog. Now, Scraps has
has a very particular diet because he's a wiener dog, they have to stay at a, a they have to stay at a specific weight. If he gets overweight, it could hurt his back really bad. So every day, Scraps gets um, about a half a cup of food, and that should be about good for him. And Lady, because we're slowly trying to help her gain her weight, she gets a little bit more. She gets a cup and a half. I don't have them here right now because they actually get fed at our dinner time and they'd be very mad to see this and not get to eat. <laughs> and then they get tons of treats throughout the days. They both love carrots, cucumbers, um, edamame, which is actually fairly good for dogs. So they get treats all throughout the day and this is their dinner. And they get water as well with dinner and in the morning. Bye Lammies, thank you so much for watching me take care of my dogs. Email the Lambs class email three things you learned about taking care of dogs from this video. And then I'd like to know one way you take care of your pets at home if you have any pets. All right, see you guys soon.